Hello everybody, my name is Local Wolf and hope you all have a fantastic day. Before I want to first start off, the background video, basically the video I've used to record over, has nothing to do with basically anything. The video is basically explaining what Five Cry Five is going to be like and everything else. Now, the first thing I want to get out of the way is the time of it. The timing of the live stream will be at midnight UK time. It was when the game officially releases in stores. And because I pre-ordered it and the deluxe edition, I'll be able to play it as soon as it, as soon as the timer expires. So I've got that, that, that to look forward to. And as soon as it, um, as soon as the timer expires, and I'm able to load up the game. I will be instantly live streaming it. So that way I can start, you know, getting the link so I can get the link for it and start sharing it around in a few communities that I'm in and. The main part of the storyline, uh, the um, live stream, is the story. All I want to do is just focus on the story because, in my opinion, that was literally the best thing about Far Cry. It was mainly the story. I mean, in Far Cry, I played Instincts two, three, and four. I didn't play the one before that because I didn't know it existed at the time. Far Cry Instincts had a linear storyline, which was fun. You could still mess around with some stuff in there, but it had a linear storyline. Far Cry two was more of an open world had a steady storyline, you knew where to go in that, how to complete the game. I still enjoyed playing that though. Then you had Far Cry 3, which is again open world RPG type, but still had a main storyline which I enjoyed going through. Far Cry 4, exactly the same. Obviously 3 and 4 had the same mechanics with the uh, hunting wise, you had to hunt to get the stuff that you needed to upgrade your character. And um, according to what I've seen, Steam's Far Cry 5 it must probably be the same. I hope they do that because that kind of stuff is fun. But I um, think the main thing I want to get out there is I'm not going to be buying boosters. A lot of people don't have the money to either buy boosters or don't have the money to, well, basically spend loads of money on boosters. Like me, for example. So I'll be doing everything from scratch, all, I wouldn't say legit, but you get my meaning. I will be using boosters or anything like that. That's the main part. As well as that, I won't be going online until after story mode is finished. There is a chance of me going for the platinum, but that depends on you know if it, if it requires online because that's the main thing that puts me off getting a platinum for a lot of games is the you need online. So I don't to the bother that. Like, example Call of Duty and that that's all just annoying to get. And the last thing I want to get through is going to be a short video as you can probably tell is the the hundred subs. I recently hit a hundred subs. Uh, the day before this video, and um, I want to thank you all for being there, being you know, watching the channel, helping it grow. It's not my channel, I'm just a content creator. You guys are the ones that mainly get the channel going. To be fair, without fans, it, the channel will be basically dead. That's why a lot of people don't seem to realise. But um, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, if you're looking forward to watching me play the live stream, live stream in the game at midnight British time then you know leave a like subscribe so you can get updated and if you turn on that little bell as soon as I go live you'll get notified that's a great feature eh? I actually do use that a lot myself but I thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the live stream